chased him, but he fled. But if I told my dad, he'd say, It's, it's all inside, inside your head. head. You really cannot catch them or find their whereabouts. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. Germs. Hooray! Lunch! Tom Thomas, you brought your ball to lunch? It's filthy dirty. Don't you know how many germs are on it? Wash yourself up. Look, they're clean. Here, it's for you. I saw that. Now go back and wash your hands. Why? There are germs on Chusaka? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give it back. Again? Hi, Tom Thomas. Uh -huh. Why are you so angry? You go wash your hands five times solid. This is germs, that is germs. Maybe they don't even exist. Of course they do. It's just that they're so tiny, you can't see them without a microscope. Tom Thomas, let's go into your dad's office. He's got a microscope. We can take a look at some germs. Germs, or microbes, are such tiny creatures we need a microscope to see them. But they live everywhere. In the earth, the water, throughout the air. They're on everything, even on us. Some microbes are able to move around with the help of filaments or tails. Lots of microbes are harmless, but there are some dangerous ones too. If they get inside of you through your nose or your mouth, you could end up with a sore throat or a stomach ache. Turn it a little more. Stop, now take a look. <gasps> it's horrible. Hey, let me take a look. Wow, they're so scary. Hang on, do I really have germs like that living on my hands too? You got it. But I washed them, uh, seven times. With soap? No, just water. You have to use soap to get rid of germs, not just water. So which soap should I use? Either, this one, that one, they are both antibacterial, so they kill bacteria. And what about germs, will it kill them? Of course. Bacteria is just another name for germs. They're the same thing. Wash. Tom Thomas, give me a drop of that liquid soap. I want my hands to be real clean. Good job. That's the spirit. Hooray! We're clean! Let's go put that puzzle together. All right, but doesn't it have germs all over it? And they're on the soccer ball. What are we going to do? I think we should clean them with soap. No, clean the whole room. You're right. surrounded by millions of invisible microbes, including those that can cause an illness. But there is no need to be afraid of them if you follow these simple rules. Eat only washed fruits and veggies, keep your home clean, and wash your hands very well with soap, preferably an antibacterial one, and every day. Antibacterial soap protects you for a few hours after it's been washed off. It not only cleans your hands, but also stops germs from reproducing. There are useful microbes, too. Some bacteria can be added to milk to make yogurt and cottage cheese. Others are used for purifying water. Even inside of humans are a lot of useful bacteria that help their bodies digest food. <gasps> Nolik, what do you think? Are there microbes living on the soap? I don't know. We should wash that, too, just in case. Hey, what are you two doing in here? Washing the soap. With soap? So there won't be any germs on it. You've got to be joking. Listen, getting rid of all the microbes is impossible and unnecessary. You just need to protect yourself from the bad ones. Uh, 
Bacteria gone. Tom Thomas. I need a minute so I can <gasps> mop your room. But I already washed it. What a good boy. The table's sparkling. <gasps> Just look how clean it is in here. Great job. What's going on? Nothing. You're not getting sick, are you? No. Tom Thomas, you did a great job in here, only you're taking this cleaning way too far. Understand? I've got you. And do you get it? Me? Get what? That the most important thing is to make sure you wash your hands with soap. Okay. To the germ fighters! <laughs> Making the world safer, one less germ at a time. Chased him, but he fled. But if I told my dad, he'd say, It's, it's all inside your head. head. You really cannot catch them or find their whereabouts. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The dishwasher. You won't catch me! <laughs> Enjoying yourself? Without a care in the world. What? We have more care to both of you together. Yeah, anyone can see that. Wanna bet me? How about we try doing your job and you try doing ours? And whoever loses... Has gotta grant the other's wish. We have a dishwasher here in the kitchen that isn't working and you're distracting us with your nonsense. Wait a sec. Let's do it. Find the broken part. Good as done. Find it where? <laughs> You're the adults now. Go and find it. Just look out for yourselves. And you kids, time for school. And I better not hear that you were misbehaving. Was I there when they taught us about dishwashers at school? <laughs> the main element of a dishwashing machine is this part called the sprayer, which looks like a propeller. After the dishwasher's pump delivers water, it is warmed, mixed with detergent, and then pushed up with high pressure. That makes the propeller spin very quickly, so it can shoot out the water with a force strong enough to wash all of the dirt off the plates and glasses. But it does it carefully, so that dishes not only come out sparkling, but unbroken as well. Is this a parent-teacher conference? It's not! It's an experiment! For today, I'm Simka. <laughs> and I'm Nolik. All right. Who's ready to tell the rest of the class what we studied yesterday? Simka. Yesterday? Oh. You forgot. Be seated. That's an F. Mm-hmm. I think the problem is in the control panel. I wonder if the dishwasher ran out of water. Ah. Poplis, don't argue with your wife. Hey. This one is working. And so is this. Wash those dishes. But that would be cheating. No one will find out. The dishes will all be nice and clean, and bam, we're the winners. Check it out, we are all done. How come the indicators aren't lit? Fixies have to fix things. And what do you call this? And you, did you both go to school today? Of course we did. I, I mean Simka, got an F for her answer. Well, thanks, Masia. And did you play with Tom Thomas? You know that we don't show ourselves to people. Tom Thomas isn't any human. He's our friend. Either you play with him, or you both lose, just like we did. No way. We'll play another round. <laughs> The earliest kitchenware appeared about 7,000 years ago. Early people made these containers from stone or wood. Another kind of container for holding food was woven baskets. The baskets would be lined with clay for durability. 
once, one of these baskets fell into a bonfire. And lo and behold, the wood on the outside burned away, while the clay was now hard as a rock. That discovery led to the invention of clay pottery that is still in use to this very day. Later on came the development of glass, metal, and cast iron cookware. The world's richest people can even have food served to them on dishes of silver or gold. Today, kitchenware is not only a practical convenience, but it can decorate any home as well. Forget it. This is impossible. Let's just tell them we give up. Zinka, how come this button is crooked and not sticking out? Because the button got jammed! Yeah! No way! You figured out what was wrong! I'm glad I kept dragging this around. Diddy! One. Papus, two, we fixed everything! Really? Does this mean you're playing with him? What? Four, you think we're some quitters? Ha! Then which one of us is the Ready winner? Ready or not, here I come. Let's call it a draw. Each team gets one wish. Our team mm. wants you to fix my arm. And you finish this game with him. Piece, Piece of, of cake. cake. Inside your head, you really cannot catch them or find their whereabouts. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The television. Now watch carefully. First, I put some of the yellow. Then I add some of the blue, mix them together, and now we've got the color green. Isn't that great? Class! And it's not just paint either. Your television works by mixing colors too. Really? No way. That's embarrassing. No, look, you should know that by now. We live inside of that television together with Papas and Masia. Come on! <laughs> The picture on a TV screen is made up of tiny glowing dots that are either red, green, or blue. When blue and green dots are glowing together, we see the color light blue, like in a clear blue sky. When green and red mix, we see a yellow sun. And when all three colors shine brightly together, then we see white on the screen. It may be hard to believe, but it's true. All of the colors on the screen are made up of only three colors, red, green, and blue. So everything that's on the TV screen all comes from three colors. Red, green, and blue. Isn't that great? Where do you learn all this stuff, huh? Actually, don't you think it's about time we got you a new TV? What do you say? Sure. <sighs> great. And then I'll take this one with me to work. We just started shooting a new show about old things. Hooray! I'm going to get an awesome new TV. Simka Nolik. Did you hear that? Are you here? They must have gone home for something. <gasps> Wait a sec. Their home is... Their, their home is in the television. This was such a nice home for us. It's okay. We'll move into one of the other TVs here. The one in the living room? Why not? It's a nice new one with a huge flat screen. We're gonna have to leave the sofa behind. What? There's just not enough room in that TV. Then I'm not going to move there. Then where? Into the fridge? No, thank you. My nose is running. How about the stove? And what about us? You're the one that says that a stove is off limits for kids. Maybe the microwave will do. No, it's dangerous there. Then, in the piano. What piano? There's no piano in Tom Thomas's apartment. What a shame. A piano is the best place of all to call home. Huh. It looks like he already put us into a box. We're trapped. Good. Mm -hmm. Dad! Hey, Dad! 
I changed my mind. I really don't want to get a new TV. Hmm. Why don't you want a new one? I'm just used to this one. You're a junk collector. <laughs> uh-huh. Just like you, Dad. People have always dreamt of seeing things that are far, far away. All of us have heard fairy tales about crystal balls and magic mirrors. But the magic of television began only a hundred years ago. The screens on the first TVs were so small that people had to attach magnifying glasses to them to make the picture big enough for watching. Ever since those first TVs, both the outside and the inside of this amazing device continue to change. Bulky picture tubes have been replaced by electronic chips. Screens have grown wider and wider as TV sets have changed from big heavy boxes to flat light screens that can hang on the wall like a picture. And someday, real soon, it's quite possible that TVs will be made to roll up like a rug and people will be able to carry them anywhere. All right, I'll put it back, but under one condition. If it breaks, we'll buy you a new one right away. Yeah, sure. We'll never let it break, right? Never, never ever! Well, that's that. The color is completely wrong, see? I guess we're going to have to throw it out after all. Wait, wait, wait. I know how to make it work perfectly. Watch this. One, two, and three. How did you do it? I just mixed the three colors together, like I told you, red with green and blue. 